Well, welcome back to NRM 435 GIS analysis. In this session, we're going to work on creating sample locations as new point feature classes, either creating randomly distributed locations or uniform locations in ArcMap. Okay, let's assume we want to create some uniform locations spaced every one meter. We can use the Create Fishnet tool to do this. So the Create Fishnet tool will create points at the center of each square cell. So let's say we want to create a point at 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, etc. What we would do is adjust our origin so it's off by half. And then our y-axis coordinate will be straight north, so any value north. And then our cell width will be 1 meter by 1 meter. And then what, let's make 10 rows by 10 columns. So we're going to create label points that will be at the center of each cell. And each cell will be a 1 meter by 1 meter polygon. And then we'll output this to some feature class. So I'll go to 5 and I'll make a new geodatabase and I'll call this geodatabase squares. So inside that geodatabase, and then just OK, save it. So the result is we have one meter square polygons, and then we have our points. So we can add what are the XY coordinates to each point by running the add XY geoprocessing tool. So for example, this point is at 0, 0, this point is at x of 1, y of 0, etc., all the way to our last point, which is at 9, 9. So the points are uniformly distributed and they're one meter apart from each other. Now let's say we want to put a point randomly inside each square. To do that, we can do the Create Random Points tool. So I'll output to a geodatabase that I created called Random Locations. So that will be my location that we're going to output to. And then the constraining feature class is our square polygons. And then let's put one random point inside each square polygon. And then just OK. So then inside each polygon, we have one random point randomly distributed inside each polygon. We could also create proximity polygons, basically representing the area that's closest to each point. So to do that, we'll use the tool Create Thesen Polygons. So our input is our points, and then we'll output as proximity polygons and for each polygon, transfer the information about our points. So the result are these proximity polygons. So for example, if I'm in this polygon, anywhere in this polygon, I'm closest to this point. And anywhere in this polygon, I'm closest to this point. So basically, these proximity polygons just represent that if you're in that polygon, you're closest to its parent point. Now, let's say we want to do stratified random sampling, where the larger the polygon, the more random points, and the smaller the polygon, the fewer the random points. So if we look at our polygons, we've got the area of each polygon. And the area ranges from a maximum of 1.6 to a minimum of 0.4. So let's say we want to put four random points in if the area is 0.46 and 16 random points in if the area is 1.6. So we'll create a field for the number of random points that we want as a function of the area. 
So we'll add an integer field, and I'll call it NPTS for number of points. And then we'll calculate the number of points as a function of our shape area. So it's going to be equal to the shape area times 10. So for example, for this polygon, it had a shape area of 1.25. It gets allocated 13 points. This polygon, 0.84, it gets allocated 8 points. So let's sort that. So here we have 0.47. It will get 5 points randomly in that polygon. So then we can just run the tool create random point. So we're going to put a random point in each proximity polygon, but we're not going to put a constant 100 random points in each polygon. We're going to use the field to allocate the number of random points. And in this case, the field will be our NPTS. And then just OK to execute the tool. So for our first polygon here, we had allocated five points to be randomly distributed within that polygon. And if we look at, here's an area of 1.5. We've allocated 16 points to be in that larger polygon. So then we have 16 points randomly distributed in that larger polygon. So as a check, we can use a spatial join tool to determine is the number of random points in each polygon what we desired. So in this example, our target is our proximity polygons, because that's what we're asking a question about. Does a proximity polygon have the number of points that we asked for? So the join feature will be our stratified random points, and then our output feature class will be a new polygon feature class. So I'll call this check, and there'll be polygons. And then the match option will be intersect. So as long as the points in the polygon count it. And then OK to execute that. So join count is the number of random points inside each polygon. And here was the field that we used to allocate the number of random points. So were there any polygons where that was not true? So we could select by attribute, does join count not equal our number of points that we asked for? And then apply. And there were zero polygons selected. So every polygon has the number of points that we requested based on this field. OK, so in the next session, we'll cover how to calculate the density of points within a certain area.